Hi, I'm Claire Tompkins, the Clutter Coach, and this is the Organize Your Life podcast. I am passionate about organizing because it makes my clients' lives so much easier, more relaxed, and with more time to spend the way they want to. In every podcast in the show, I'll lay out a simple organizing concept, and I'll tell you why it's important. I'll also include an action step at the end so you can start practicing right away. My specialty is chunking down this big topic so it's not overwhelming. That's the concept for this podcast, which is based on my first book, 52 Simple Ways to Get Organized. The book is available on my website and on Amazon. I work with clients in person in the Berkeley, California area and via email and Skype, so you don't have to be local to me. Visit the Hire tab on my website or email me at claire at cluttercoach.net. If you like the show, please rate it and review it. To do that, go to my website, cluttercoach.net, and scroll down for the show notes. Each show notes post has a link to leave a review in iTunes. I would so appreciate that. Okay, on to the podcast. Hi, gang. This is podcast number 70, and it's about chunking. This is a concept you should be familiar with if you're a regular listener. I talk often about how to make an unmanageable project manageable by cutting it into small pieces or chunks. You cannot do a project. Projects have lots of steps and they can't be done all at once. If you put a project on your to-do list, don't be surprised if it languishes there because your brain won't be able to see a way into this giant blob of complexity. But you'll feel guilty for not doing it. So, the way to start is to chip off a chunk that you can do. Chunking is also a learning strategy. Apparently, we can only hold four to five bits of information in our heads at one time, in our working memory. When more is presented, some of the earlier ones just drop out, get forgotten. They just evaporate. Or in the case of a big project, we feel overwhelmed by the unchunked whole. That's especially true if you have already have doubts about your ability to accomplish the project. One of my pet peeves is that chunking has disappeared from numbers. Phone numbers, card numbers, account numbers, even my library card number. They're now written without hyphens these days. Long strings. I hate that. Not only does it make it hard to write out because I've remembered them in chunks, but I find them hard to read. If anybody knows why this rotten turn of events occurred, please let me know. Okay, back to the topic. According to the Peak Performance Center website, chunking involves these four steps. One, Break larger amounts of information into smaller units. Two, identify similarities and patterns. Three, organize the information. And four, group information into manageable units. You can see how this would apply to a nonfiction book. If you opened a book and found page after page of unbroken text, you'd probably just put it down and walk away. But if it has clear sections, chapter titles under them, you'd be able to see how all the chunks fit together and then go about digesting them one by one. I've mentioned in the past a variety of chunking techniques. The most basic project chunking method is to just to do each step in the order it's called for, meaning that once you do step one, step two will naturally present itself, so you can do that one. This is similar to David Allen's organic planning model. Time is another chunking tool. Complete your project in half-hour segments. This works well for a project that involves doing the same activity over and over, or for a period of time, like knitting a scarf or sorting through old photos, or maybe digging a tunnel to escape from the Shawshank State Penitentiary. Julie Morgenstern suggests thinking of time not as fluid and shapeless, but as a series of containers that you put tasks into. There's a finite number of them per day, and a finite number of tasks will fit into each one. Organizing your day as a series of chunks is more effective than a random stream of unrelated tasks. Work can be chunked by context also, like David Allen does. For example, group tasks that need to be done online, ones that need to be done on the phone, ones that you need to write, ones that need you to meet with others. In that scenario, you'd do an hour of online research, then batch three or four phone calls, then spend another hour writing, and then schedule a few meetings back to back. Personal projects can be chunked by the area of life they fall into. Dividing them into categories such as health, finance, family, spirituality, etc. gives them an organizational structure that will help you decide what projects to pursue and when. 
Life coaches sometimes have you choose three projects to work on, each from a different area of your life. Categorizing projects this way puts them into a context and helps you see how they relate to each other. It helps you see the patterns and similarities that make projects more manageable. When you plan a big project, it can be like structuring a book. The chunks you identify are all the sub-projects that need to be included, like the chapters of a book. Each chapter of the project may have sections, and the sections have paragraphs, and the paragraphs have sentences. These are finer and finer ways of chunking the steps of your project. So what can you do right now? Think of a project or area of your life where you want to be more efficient, and then pick a chunking method. Step chunks, topic chunks, time chunks, or context chunks that you think will help, and then try it. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Claire Tompkins, The Clutter Coach. If you like the show, I'd love it if you leave a rating and review in iTunes. You can subscribe, too, so the podcast will be ready and waiting for you to listen to. You'll find the show notes on my blog at www.cluttercoach.net, and you can check out my store to find books I've written and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you're a fan of the show, you can become a patron on patreon.com for as little as a dollar a month. You can find my page by going to the Patreon website, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, and searching on Clutter Coach. I'll still post the podcast free of charge, but I've got some cool rewards for folks who want to help me make the show even better. Come back next week for a new podcast. (laughs) 